guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this look right here. I was feeling a monochromatic purple moment, but with a tatanisha twist. Okay, you guys know I love me a good cut crease, and so that is what I did with this beautiful purple glam. Added a little detail with the winged liner. Super cute moment. I'm obsessed. And the palette that I actually used is the Lorac Pro, the Artistry Chapter 2 book. I have the original one as well, and then I have Chapter 2, which is this one. And you guys, these palettes are bomb. Listen, anytime I talk about a palette from the UK, I'm going to tell you it's fantastic because they're like five years ahead of the US. It's actually insane. So this is what the palette looks like right here. It is gorgeous. If you guys can get your hands on it, definitely get it. I know they do sales all the time, so definitely pick it up if you can. I will say shipping does take a little long just because, again, it is in the UK and also shipping is a little pricey. But definitely, if you guys are into color like I am, these palettes are phenomenal. They're super pigmented, very good quality, easily blendable shadow. I definitely recommend them. So I'm going to be using that palette to create this entire look today, minus, of course, the liners. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. So if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today, then just keep on watching. You guys, let's go ahead and get started with this purple glam. So of course, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base in Rumor 2.5. This is my absolute favorite base. It is so good. It's just a base that's going to help you intensify your colors and really stick to them. So you're going to get the maximum amount of intensity. It's phenomenal. I don't feel like there's anything like it on the market. You can use concealer, but you're definitely not going to get the same effect. So if you haven't tried this, I definitely would recommend it. For eyeshadow today, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Artistry book. This is the chapter two. And I'm first going to go into the shade Bad Energy. And you guys can see, you guys, this pigment is intense. It is so beautiful. Like it's a solid purple, no patchiness, none of that. So not only is it because I'm using such a great quality eyeshadow but also it's because I'm using that base underneath so I like to just pack my deepest shade into my crease into the shape that I'm going for so of course I winged it on that outer corner now I'm taking a fluffy brush and going into the shade palm reader and then over top of that I did go into the shade rude gal which is a beautiful pink and then you guys know you start to lose pigmentation so I went back in with the shade bad energy and just added that and those are the three colors that I used in the crease so I'm kind of just sandwiching those colors and just building them up and then moving on to the next shade and then the next one going back and forth that kind of deal so once I was pretty happy with the blend I'm going in with some micellar water and a few q-tips and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that crease you guys get into this like it's so satisfying to watch when you actually clean up the lid and create the shape that you're going for and it's this part right here get it girl get it obsessed so now that my crease is nice and cut I did want to show you guys that I'm actually mixing this base from P Louise with blank canvas you can get both of these on the P Louise website but I wanted more of a lavender shade so I mixed it now I will also say I've even been doing this with my regular base when I use blank canvas because blank canvas on its own dries super quickly so this gives you a little bit of wiggle room to work with the product so for that pastel purple I'm going into this palette this was a part of the sandwich collection from P Louise I don't think they make this anymore I think it's discontinued but any pastel purple will do you basically just need this to set that eyeshadow base because if not it will crease so I'm taking a flat brush and of course patting on that powder eyeshadow you do not want to swipe it across your lid because you are going to disturb that base underneath so you want to set it so just press it nicely make sure that you're picking up enough powder don't be stingy with your eyeshadow okay pick up enough so that way it sets that base in place and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a piece of tape to my outer corner so we can create that really beautiful wing so I'm first going in with that dark purple then over top of that I went in with a little bit of that pink and you guys will see the gradient will come together but using the tape just helps so that way when you go ahead and peel it like I did here you have a really nice guideline I did go ahead and switch my brush to a more precise small flat brush and now I'm really gonna work on that wing last minute I actually decided to thicken it up so I went in with that dark purple shadow I also went in with the light purple shadow and then the pink of course to create that really beautiful gradient effect this does take time it does look patchy at first but as you continue to blend each color you're gonna get a effortless beautiful blend and it's eyeshadow 
that you use to make a liner. Like, how cool is that? So I did want to go in with this Mora Beauty. This is actually their liquid liner. The shaping will be down below. But I wanted to actually make this liner look a little bit more crisp and clean. So I went in with this just to make that really nice pointed edge. But I feel like it blended too much into the color of that outer corner of that wing. It was basically the same purple. So I decided to go in with a lighter lavender purple and put that right inside of that darker purple. I know, usually you would do it the opposite way. Usually you would do the lighter lighter purple and then right over that you would do the darker one but I did it backwards because when I'm doing my makeup looks I'm kind of just going with the flow so obviously I had one eye look done so I knew what I was doing at this point but I kind of wanted to show you guys as if I didn't do any of my eyes yet and this was just me doing it for the first time so I will leave all the details as far as the makeup down below in the description box but here is the eye makeup that is pretty much it so what I'm gonna do now is just prep my lashes for some falsies so I'm going in with mascara. I've been loving this mascara. This is actually the Patrick Ta Beauty Mascara. It's really nice, you guys. I really like the brush. I feel like it really separates my lashes and really coats them evenly, but doesn't make them clumpy. We love that. So for lashes, I'm actually going in with Popsy Lashes in the style Popsy. I do have a discount code with them if you guys are interested in trying them and want to save some money. The code is always down below in the description box. And I didn't show you guys the face makeup, but I wanted to show you this blush because this blush was going viral on TikTok a few months back. I did purchase it. I think it was around the Sephora sale. And I wanted to show you guys how pigmented and beautiful look at this blush it is so pretty and it went perfectly with this look so i wanted to just show you guys that and then this liner from pacifica you guys this is a vegan and cruelty free liner it is so smooth on the waterline a little teaser i do have another look coming using another shade in this formula it's amazing you guys can pick them up at ulta beauty i don't think they're in store i think they're online only but they're like seven bucks i believe they're so good so if you guys like colored liners these are amazing just want to let you guys no. So for the lower lash line, I'm going in with that dark purple again and pressing it super, super tight to my lash line, very close to my waterline. And then to blow that out, I'm going in with that pink shade. And then of course, back in with the purple to just re-intensify it and make sure everything looks really nice and blended. And that basically completes the look. The only final step is to go in with some lower lash mascara. This is the MAC Giga Black Mascara. It is my absolute favorite. If you have tiny lower lashes, you're gonna want to get this mascara it coats them so evenly it's amazing and I never have that accident where I get mascara on my under eye never not with this mascara so that basically completes the look I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm excited to get back to giving you guys full face tutorials but for now I hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you so so much for watching I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys